So we've had a couple questions about the Harry Potter card game. Now this game came out around 2001-2002 by Wizards of the Coast, which is most famous for Magic the Gathering, although they were at the time one of the two big uh, card game companies with them and Decipher with lots of different games coming out. This one didn't last as long as it could have or perhaps should have, but Sorry. it was... Uh, it was a very interesting one, and it had a good license. I, they just decided to drop it after um, Chamber of Secrets came out, uh, which was the last expansion. Uh, the first base set, we've got a two-player starter here for, so I might try that out with the kids or something and try it. But we also have three booster packs from the original base set, and I believe these are all the pack arts. We've got one with Hedwig. Uh, we've got Harry and the Sorting Hat, and we've got... Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Neville in the little boat heading to Hogwarts Castle. And then the first expansion that came after this, this, I think, just had four different types of lessons you could learn. There was charms, um, potions, care of magical creatures, and transfiguration. And then the first expansion, Quidditch Cup, introduced Quidditch as another type. So there were five types, and that was what it was like for the rest of the game then. The second expansion was Diagon Alley. Um, I'm forgetting offhand what it introduced. I think it might have been locations. Then Adventures at Hogwarts. Uh, and these th three expansions plus the base set are all based off of the first book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, depending where you come from. And then the last hurrah before they cancelled the game, they came out with a new set that's Chamber of Secrets, based off that second book. Unfortunately, that one is very hard to find and very expensive these days, so we don't have any, and I don't expect we ever will. But, we've got this, and I think it's a good little selection, and I uh, thought we could open up these three packs and see what we get. <laughs> And Brinley wants out of her room. Yes, that's... I don't know if that'll come out in the background. Oh, no, you'll hear it. I don't know how clear, but you'll hear it. Well, I mean, at the Weasley's house, you always had interesting noises coming from different magical mm. creatures around, so it's not completely off-brand. Foul Brew. This is a common. The little circle in the bottom shows the rarity, so that's a circle is a common. And that's a potions card. Hospital Wing, another potions card common. The art is actually quite nice with these. Yeah, the art was pretty good. Um, Balblius, I don't know how to pronounce all these very well. A Pewter Cauldron, also for potions. Wingardium Leviosa. That is nice. Yeah. Vermilius, do three damage to your opponent or to a creature of your choice. We have an uncommon here, Hiding from Snape. Oh, cool. I like how they show the invisible visibility cloak. Yeah. It's a nice little representation in the drawing. Another uncommon, Apparate. Discard the adventure your opponent has in play. So this is an adventure card like the previous one. There's, there's also wizard cards. Oh, here's our lesson. Care of magical creatures and charms. And our rare is Incendio. Count the number of charms lessons you have in play. Do that much damage to a creature of your choice. So that's our rare. We've got some lessons. And these are uncommons. And these are commons. You know what we could do? Um, if we wanted to do like rare. a video showing how to play the game, it might not be a bad idea to do that for Thomas if he wants to try and play it for like a video. Yeah. There were two different types of foils in the set, too. Um, the more subtle foiling and a very heavy foiling. The heavy foiling was usually just for the uh, wizard cards, I believe. Snape's question is a common. I will Alan always... again. Hospital um, wing. I'll always see Alan Rickman as, as uh, Snape, though. Even when I see a depiction of Snape. <laughs> we have a lot of repeats in this pack. This is almost all the same commons. And apparate again. Oh no. Well, Nurture. That's different, isn't it? Yep. 
Isn't he beautiful, Hagrid murmured. I love Hagrid. And then we've got... So those are commons, here's a potions lessons, a charms lesson, and our rare is Transfiguration Exam. Discard all creature cards from play. So that's our second rare. I've heard that if you open a whole box of one of these smaller sets, this set here has 116 cards in it. Um, the uh, Chamber of Secrets was also a somewhat larger set, but each of these sets is under 100 cards, I believe. And I've heard that if you open one of those boxes, you have a good chance of getting a version, at least, of most of the rares, if not close to all, and obviously all the commons, but you might be short a couple of uncommons. Uh, Avi Farrells. So this is new. A Scottish stag. Sorry, I can't see it. Can you move your... Avi Farrells. Choose one, choose one of your opponent's care of magical creatures lessons in play and discard it. The creature, Scottish Stag, deals one damage each turn and has health of five. Both commons. Oh, here's a uh, Vicious Wolf, three damage each turn, health three, and costs a little bit more. Another Wingardium Leviosa. Potion's Mistake. <laughs> uh, boa Constrictor. So we're getting a couple commons here. Oh, that one again. New, oh, Nurture is another uncommon. Ooh. Dragon Heart Wand. So item for Charms is an uncommon. Then we have a Potion's Lesson and a Transfiguration Lesson. And a rare Tintandolo. Do three damage to your opponent or to a creature to the of your choice. Tidalando. Tidalando. Okay. Then your opponent chooses three cards in his or her hand and discards them. If there are three than three cards in your hand, your opponent chooses. Um, they discard all they have, basically. <laughs> Interesting. Very expensive, though. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get any foils in those three packs. Um, when you're buying loose packs, I believe they can be weighed, so. I, I'm not too surprised by that, but it's a little bit unfortunate. Anyway, um, if we ever break into one of these others, we'll hopefully have better luck on the foil front. But uh, yeah, this is a taste for the Harry Potter card game. And uh, it's a fairly basic game when it comes to actually playing it. Um, so maybe we'll try and, and do a video on that someday if people are interested. But uh, yeah, I was... Uh, it's an interesting little time, and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please and... um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you watched. And, and... if you do want to see more about this game yeah. or us getting into any of this stuff or doing a tutorial or something, let us know. I'd be happy to try and teach one of the kids this. This could be fun. Okay, have a good day. Bye.